One of the ways that we create a better looking video podcast is we use cloud recording services like Riverside and like Squadcast. However, when we are recording ourselves, so the host, we use an external camera like this Lumix Panasonic S52X that I'm using or my Sony A7IVs that I've used in the past. We just wanna get that little bit extra quality, that little bit extra punch and crispiness in that video. Now, of course, you could use your mobile phone as well, which would be a lot better than your webcam. However, a lot of people have found when they started to use this method that they had issues when it came to editing because of course when you record in your camera which is external to Riverside or Squadcast or any other platforms that you're using then you're going to have issues with syncing that with all the footage that was recorded in the cloud. Now there is an easy way to do this and there's a difficult way to do this. The tricky way is to try and do it manually. It's not that tricky, it's easily done with the technology nowadays, but it does take a little bit of time. I'm going to show you how I get over this problem in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go straight into it. So here you can see I've got my DaVinci Resolve open into the media pool on the edit page and I've pulled in some files here from Squadcast which is the platform that we use and you can see here I've got a Squadcast the file mp4 this is for our guest and there she is and then we've got the audio file for that guest as well. So now the first thing I'm going to do is sync these two together so we make sure that we've got the quali good quality audio files synced with the video file so select them to both of those files and hit right click and auto sync audio based on a waveform. Now I could have done that based on time code because of course in the cloud those that software is started at the same time and it finishes at the same time. So the time code should work, but I just feel it's safer to go with the time code, uh, sorry, with the waveform. Let's do the same for Anishas. Now for Anishas, we've got the webcam, which has come from Squadcast, but we've also got the file from my Panasonic camera, which looks a bit blown out there, but this is a lot better quality file than the one we're gonna get from Squadcast. So we wanna sync this up with the audio from Squadcast, and that's this WAV file here. So we're gonna select these two, same thing again, right click, auto sync audio, based on waveform, let it do its thing, and it shouldn't take too long before that's synced up as well. Perfect, now that's done. Now, we wanna make sure that the conversation flows naturally, so they're not gonna start talking over each other, because of course the video file created in my camera was started at a different time to the video file that was created in Squadcast for the guest. So, what we're gonna do is we need to find a common sync point between these two files. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. The first thing we're gonna do is open up the video into the preview window, which I have here. And I'm gonna find a point where Anisha is finished asking a question and then it's the guest's turn to speak. And you'll see why that's important in a little while now. So I'm just gonna play this through. Hello, hi Ashley. Okay, so Anisha just said, hello, hi Ashley. So now Ashley would have to respond. So this is where I'm gonna place a marker. An easy way to do that is just hit M on your keyboard and you'll see there behind this uh, mark this timeline here, there's a blue marker and it's put it at the correct timestamp. So this, if I pop that back onto the marker, perfect. So hello, hi Ashley. Now, we need to find the point in Ashley's video where she's about to respond to that question. So we're gonna load up Ashley's video here into the browser and we're gonna hit play. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, but it just happened to be at the right place. I didn't mean for that to happen, but um, let's just rewind it a bit. Yeah, so this is when she just responds to the hello Ashley. So I'm gonna place a marker there, so you can see that that blue marker has been placed there. Now it's just a case of creating your multicam file within DaVinci Resolve, and that's very easy to do. You just select one of the videos, then you select the second video, now it's this one from my camera, and I'm gonna right click, create multicam clip using selected clips. I'm gonna call this 158MC for multicam. I'm gonna leave the frame rate the same. Now it's the angle sync that's really important here. As you can see here, I've selected marker. So this is gonna sync up those two marker points as your sync point. So we're gonna hit marker. I'm gonna keep everything as it is here and hit create. Now that's created my file. So I'm gonna right click on here and click open in timeline. So we can see the conversation in full. So I'm gonna just close my media pool up here. Now, if I just go straight to that sync point and make these a bit bigger, I'm just gonna raise Anisha's levels just for this purpose. Podcast. Hello. Hi, Ashley. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited for today's episode. Absolutely, I'm so excited. Sounds like a normal conversation. Now you can go ahead and continue with your multicam edit.
If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you have a better way of doing this or how you get on yourself if you give this a go. See you in the next video.